Hi, this is Ray at OurVoiceOverGuy.com, and I got a request from one of my subscribers about creating their own custom karaoke track. Or instead of going out and buying karaoke soundtracks, why not take the music you already own and taking out the vocals, uh, or as much as possible, uh, to use it as a karaoke track. Um, couldn't be simpler with Adobe Audition 3.0. Uh, let me show you how to do it real quick. In your multi-track view right here, go ahead and take your uh, song and you just double click on the file area here and it'll open up wherever you have your music uh, stored. Um, click on your file, drag it into the timeline, and you'll see you have it right here. And I'll just play a little bit for you. Next time I want All right, let's see where the vocals start at. Okay, so what we're going to do, I'm going to just open this up just a tad. Um, just before the vocals, I'm going to go ahead and right-click on here, um, and I'm going to split the track, take that out. Just so we can start right here, and you don't have to do this. This is basically just to get it started for us here, and let's hear it from the beginning. Okay, so you hear the lead vocals, and that's what you want to do in karaoke, so you want to take those out. Uh, what you want to do is go to your uh, effects tab right here. Kind of drop this down. Open up one of your areas here, and then you're going to go to um, Stereo Imagery, and go to Center Channel Extractor. Okay. Now from here, there's... You can, you can change all this that you want. I mean, you can, you know, take out the center channel to the left, to the right, uh, discrimination settings here, uh, which are all fine-tuned uh, pieces of uh, decibel modulation, if you will. Um, thankfully, uh, with Adobe 3.0, uh, they have some uh, presets for you. Uh, and you can see this right here, vo vocal remove, sing-along, uh, lift vocals, karaoke, uh, and I'll show you what that is. If you just hit karaoke, we'll hit a preview from the beginning. Here's the original. Now here's just vocals without some of the music. Kind of the acapella version. And here it is with the vocals removed. Now you'll hear some of the background vocals. Go back to zero and you hear the full song. Remove the vocals again. So, on the different channels, just to give you an idea here, when you have the center channel leveled back to zero, that's going to be everything. That's going to be all the channels, all the tracks kind of blended in as the artist intended it to be. Uh, when you go to the plus decibel side here on the center channel, you're isolating just that vocal piece. So if you go to the acapella version here, you'll see that acapella is all the way up to 48 here. If you go to the karaoke version, it drops it down to negative 20. The one thing you want to stay away from you want to leave a little bit of the vocal track in there. Uh, if you go all the way down here to negative 48, you really start to get some distortion and kind of this robotic sound. Um, so you want to keep it up here, and you'll see, obviously, the karaoke preset here is listed at negative 20 decibels. Um, here from Sing Along, it's just 6, so it just drops it enough that whatever plug you have plugged in, if you're going to sing over it in your computer or karaoke night with your friends, you'll have... Uh, the predominant voice and the lead vocal will still be dropped to the back. But for this, I'll tell you what, I mean, I like it right um, just past the recommended preset here. It's so, so subtle. So once you have that done, um, just go ahead and you can X out of that and I'll show you something. There you go. Here's part of the chorus. Go back to the multi track view. And there's your background vocals. Couldn't be simpler at all. Um, once you're done with that, just like any process here in Adobe Audition, uh, go to File, Export, 
go to your audio mix down type it uh, you know we're gonna call it karaoke song um, test one and go ahead and hit save and it'll go through taking you know uh, about a minute depending on the song uh, that'll go through here and take it all off for you so I hope you enjoyed that quick tutorial on how to create your own karaoke tracks. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment down below uh, or tell your friends about it. I'll be putting more of these Adobe Audition 3.0 tutorials up in the weeks to come. So uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you real soon.